Yeah. Mm. Yes. All right. So what we're going to do now is a demonstration of total body energetics. We're going to do bones. And already I just scanned him just using uh, an eight scan. And I think he has uh, a rib seven on the right. So we'll see if that's it. So with you guys, what you're going to do, the first thing you do is calibrate. Is make sure you have a yes, make sure you have a no, and you're clear with that. The next thing is because we're treating out of sequence, you're going to ask the patient permission to learn, okay? Permission to balance a bone, and we're gonna use all the bones except the cranium right now, so I have permission to do that. So the way to navigate, I already know where his problem is, uh, just using an innate scan, but I'll go the long way. Are his uh, upper extremities the priority? No. Are the lower extremities the priority? No. Is it the posterior torso? No. Is it the anterior torso? Yes. So it's more in the anterior torso, okay? So now we have this whole area here. So I would say, is it on the uh, left side? No. Is it on the right side? Yes. Okay. Is it something, let's see, uh, below my hand? No. It's above my hand? Yes. So it's in this region here. So in this region, I'm looking for a bone, so it's going to be a rib. So you could actually say, is it, you know, ribs uh, one to four? No. So is it, you know, there's 10 ribs in the front, so it's, uh, you know, five to 10, yes. So is it five, no, six, no, oh, it is seven. So it is seven. So seven, remember when we look at the ribs, the first seven ribs are called true ribs. And then ribs eight, nine are called false ribs because they blend into that costal cartilage. So what I'm gonna do is have you lie on this side. Actually, first I'm gonna just see if I can feel any asymmetry here. So his seventh rib is gonna be right about here. And take a look, can you guys see that asymmetry? See, it's like that. So he's got an asymmetry there. Okay, who wants to feel that? You wanna feel that? Just put your fingers there. And it's kinda of like that. There's an asymmetry there. Yep. Now I'm gonna get you to lie on this side, face me, and I'm gonna to go to his unaffected side, and I'm just gonna kinda of feel his ribs. Okay, like that, and you come up and feel. So you can feel how easy he moves. Okay, and then go on the other side and come around here. Nope, you stay there. You come around. And we wanna get right in this area here, and if you get precise, if I get here, look, he's got motion, can you see that? But if we go right here, he's got no motion there, and I want you to feel that. I want you to come up here, and I want you to feel how he's got movement there. Mm -hmm. And if you go precisely there, see? No movement there at all. So we have a tension test there. Roll on your back. Let's see if respiration, you know, breathing, will tell us a story here. Breathe in. So he has a motion there. That feels pretty good. We have that nice accordion. See on this side? Breathe in. Not as good. He's got some motion here, but not as good. Let's have you sit up for a second. And in order to rotate, your ribs have to be able to move too, right? So I'm gonna put my hand here right around T7, and I'm just gonna rotate his body here. And he goes, not too bad this way. I'm gonna come over to this side. Ah, there's a definite difference. Phil, come over here, Phil. Right, that's very good. So put your hand here, that's your sensory hand. Other hand in front, and you're gonna rotate him towards you, and you're gonna see he moves quite easy. Switch hands, come over to this side. And you'll see that's where he's restricted. So he stops right there. Good. And let's have you lie back down. So we got enough things that we can measure. And the reason why we do this evaluation is to show change. So the thing that we're practicing right now is realignment. So I'm going to come in here and take out that hologram of the seventh rib. So I have it here. And all I'm gonna do is observe it. And what he's gonna do is you're gonna tap over your heart and as he does this, I can feel it wanting to come down and rotate in this position right there. And there's its resting place there. I'm just gonna hold it. And he's just doing nice little breaths. And the activating force we're going to use is a recoil. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. So we're just having you practice these different techniques. Tomorrow you'll do whatever comes up with the body. So we tap in the three brains. And 
down and breathe in. And relax. Good. So I come here, look at this. This is symmetrical. Who felt that? Is it you? Yeah, that's symmetrical there. So it's level now. You. Okay. And we'll get you to lie on this side. Who felt the rib? So remember it was over in here? Look at this, guys. That's a lot better. Yeah. Okay, let's lie you on your back. Let's feel the respiration. Breathe in. Oh, that's a lot better. I don't think I had anybody feel that, did I? There. But you can see, we'll do it again. Mm -hmm. That's a lot better. Now let's have you sit up. Let's check rotation. This is the one that was stuck. Look at the difference now. Oh, wow. Totally opened up. So doing this energy work, you can see that it just helped. It basically took uh, the particle of that rib and turned it into waveform and gave it a new potential. You can see how much softer that is. All right, good. Thank you. Yep. All right, that's good.